For years now, Ubisoft has been on an epic quest to make an actually fun video game. Trying and failing. So a while back they started panicking and copying off other people's games. And remember when they tried turning Assassin's Creed into The Witcher? Remember when they tried to make their own Warzone? Remember when they tried to make their own Zelda? I mean, these last two games I legit couldn't even remember their names. And I still don't. Can we get Call of Duty? I'll make you Call of Duty at home. Welcome to Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Far Cry of Duty. Ubisoft's latest attempt to rip off, uh, excuse me, I mean, be inspired by someone else's game. Oh my god, I just destroyed this guy's entire family. And what do you know, they actually went and did it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Ubisoft actually made a fun video game. Remember the last fun video game you played recently? I don't. I thought they went extinct. Do you know how long it's been since I played a first person shooter where the focus of the game was the shooting? No tanks or planes or whatever deep fry bullshit they can conjure up and throw at you? The gameplay is simple and to the point. Turn your brain off and start shooting. The movement is smooth, the gunplay is enjoyable, the maps are small enough that you won't get lost trying to fight someone, but not too small that you have waking nightmares for the rest of your life. You have gun variety, between your bread and butter ARs and SMGs to your shotguns and LMGs, and then you have your DMRs and snipers. Each one of them has its ups and downs and can be used depending on the situation. Ha! Just kidding, SMGs are the correct way to play. I mean, it is Call of Duty after all. Although, I haven't had someone call me the N-word yet. There are abilities in this game and some of them can be pretty annoying at times and helpful at other times, but not all people know how to use them effectively. Never mind. For me personally, the passive abilities affect the way you play way more than the alts. For example, the hazmat suit character has fire bullets as passive, and that can drastically change the way some guns play, making them kill faster or even finish someone off after they've already killed you. The movement in this game is really smooth and reminds me a lot of Call of Duty 4, but there is no going prone in this, so no dolphin diving or drop shotting. But we still have this though. Shouldn't come with me? Nade it, nade it with me. Okay. Oh. Nade, nade, nade. Yep, <laughs> I need to heal! <laughs> heal the star! Oops. So one guy left him. He's not moving! He's just crouching! He dead. Yeah, I'm teabagging him as we speak. You level up guns and unlock mods. And oh boy, modding guns in this game is one of my favorite things about it. You can mod guns in so many different ways that suit the way you want to play. More fire rate but harder to control, more range but less mobility, easier to ADS but worse hip fire, faster to run with but worse hip fire, easier to control but worse hip fire. You get the idea. Uh, personally though, my signature move is to run straight at someone and drop a proximity mine at their feet. Let them kill you and then watch them die. There are a lot of maps in this game. After a few hours in, I was surprised when I kept seeing new maps I didn't play before. And I was even more surprised when I realized you can actually vote on maps at the start of games. Yeah, knowing that a few hours earlier would have probably been helpful. The game is made by Ubisoft though, so there are some issues of course. The first one is the Ubi launcher. Server issues and mid-game disconnections aren't uncommon. They did such a good job copying off Call of Duty that they also copied the scale matchmaking system. 
and the hitboxes. Every now and again you're gonna have a moment where the game just simply doesn't care about the bullets you fired. All in all though, this game is probably the most interesting game I've played in a while. It's simple fun and it's free to play at a time when the actual Call of Duty is a reskin that costs $70 every year. But yeah, there is no akimbo guns, there's no zombies, there's no killstreaks, and there's no doggies. So uh, yeah, shit game.